Shelton to begin. So much success doing that, so no wonder potential uh, final against one of the players. They didn't want to look too far ahead to Francis. Somewhat of a late approach, maybe he delayed it, but he did come in because he saw how good that forehand was. Back and behind, he's made it. He worked that space for himself, Shelton. And pummeled that one out wide. Made an angle for himself there. Right into the corner. Turn that tie break around. Responds nicely, took a bit off. And it was still a potent delivery from Shelton. You know, that's the pattern of play that Ben would rather be in, right? Dominating with mm -hmm. his forehand. And would it be safe to say? They actually labeled the match the Battle of the Quads. It's quite funny. That was magic from Shelton. Example as to why it's tougher when you know each other so well. Yeah. Great use of the feet from Shelton, getting into position. Would have been uh, a different story that second set, maybe in his favor like the first set, but he ended up did going through in two. He's given a, a chance there by Tiafo. Came in behind it. Emphatically put away. Just saw his man move over and put it behind him. Serious pop on that. Oh, had to win that point a few times, then he did, Tiafo. Great resilience. Missed it, and it's the set to Shelton. He was the one taking it to Tiafo, heading out. Seven games to five. And so Shelton takes this absorbing first set in the Houston final. Seven five. It's always the, the first sign for tennis players when they start looking up to their boxes more is that they're maybe not trusting what they're doing out there in the same way. A 
it was a great poke. May not have caught it cleanly, but the instinct's superb. These are the sort of points we all wanted to see today, knowing this was our final. How on earth did he get a racket on that? He's going to hope that doesn't come back to haunt him, Tiafo. Super works side to side. He had him going. It is Tiafo in this historic final in Houston. Just poked beyond Shelton. You know, getting, getting the, having the reason to get back out of bed and to work that hard and push yourself further than ever before. That, you need to refine the. Oh. I think he was banking on Tiafa just cutting across. He stepped it up on his last two shots there, Tiafo. Oh, stellar stuff from Tiafo. The backhand rising to the four as his coach rises also. And we are headed to a third in this Houston final. Yeah. Uh, he beat Jeff Tarango. Kasper Rude's dad, Christian Rude, also won here beating Jeff Tarango. Oh. So if you beat Jeff Tarango in the final at Houston, your child is likely going to go on to be a superstar. Forehand coming good there. That reply, super from Tiafo. <laughs> Just holding firm, yes, it was a great point as somebody yelled out after it ended. He found some returns and big drives overall. We have not seen many of those this entire match, the way they hit the ball so hard. Space was there, but he still had to finish, and that he did. Yeah. 
of the first keep on coming for Ben Shelton. A first clay court title. And he's also reached a new career high in the rankings of number 14. And that figures to just keep on climbing. He gets the better once again of his good friend Francis Tiafo and does it in Houston. 7 5, 4 6, 6 3. Great job to my team, Jordy, Christian, KJ. Um, it's been a really tough year, and you know, here in the, playing the final has been really great. Um, so, I mean, it sucks we couldn't get it done. Uh, screw you, Ben, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it would have been cool to get number four. We'll get that, we'll get that soon enough, and uh, let's, let's really build on this, and let's have a good 24. Thank you, guys. You've been such an inspiration to uh, kids, uh, people of color in our sport. Uh, just an amazing representation. And uh, you've been that guy to always put on for us and always be selfless, uh, thinking about others, kids younger than you. So just uh, thanks for everything that you do for our sport and, and people who look like you and me.